Slavin so much in that game. What did you make of it? Well, uh, obviously we are disappointed. Uh, we started, not only started, but, but up until the first goal we were really, uh, it was one of our best games. We were defending really well, aggressive. Uh, we took a lot of balls from them in a good areas, which, and then it was a few times, four or five times, really good service to, to Marco or to Chicharito in a good po or, or to Michael in a good positions when, when we were in open space, like free against free or had a lot of space in front of us, but uh, we just didn't materialize those, those uh, opportunities. And then, uh, as it usually is against teams with that quality, uh, one mistake, but, but pretty far from goal, okay? One bad uh, decision, they make a great cross and it's puff, it's 1-0. So for me, it was nowhere near 2-0 game in the first half. Second half we again started well, but then, then one good shot and it's 3 nil and you're thinking like we're in trouble. Then then we came back with a goal, we didn't give up and we, we came back and then after the red card we changed the system. We tried to pressure them to, to create advantage on the wings, trying to get two against one situations that we were looking to beat them and to make crosses. And uh, some of those crosses, or at least one, was brilliant, and we scored. But uh, we should have put more quality balls inside, not too early, and and uh, but more quality. Taking you back to the first half, did the injury to Mikel Antonio really affect you? Obviously, because you lost him, but then it seems to take Andy Carroll a bit of time to get up to speed as well. Yeah, but you can't you can't affect that. You know, uh, he had to go off, and uh, but we. We had to shuffle a bit. We had to put Andy that that needed few minutes to come into the game. As you said, we had to put Chicharito on again on the on Mikey's position because we wanted to stay in that system that we played for three games now uh, or two games before before Spurs. And uh, of course, it always affects you to to lose a player like Michael or or, or to change in a in a time that you are doing really well. But. Uh, and then they scored well, so we, we can talk about that, but we shouldn't score the second one. For those five minutes after we conceded the first, we were like a little bit lost, to be fair, so we needed that half time, although it was 2-0 for them. At 0-0, and it ended up being a difficult afternoon for Serge Aurier, might you have had, well, one, maybe two penalties? I look, you can talk about that. Uh, Not something you're dwelling on, though? No, for me... Serge or your handball, you mean? Is that, and then there's maybe a tug on Arnautovic as well? Tug on Arnautovic, uh, if Marco had fallen down, then then maybe he would give us, uh, for me, it's, uh, although it's just a nudge, uh, this last corner, that, uh, that Andy had a free header, and from the back, uh, I think Sanchez pushed him, and it was a free header for, for Andy, so maybe that, but he didn't get it, so... Yeah. It's one thing to say from this, you had a few games here last year where you ended up losing quite heavily. Did you lose in the right way today? Yeah, in the end, of course, it's much pleasant to, to lose 3 2 and to have the crowd staying till the end and uh, being behind us big time and expecting really because it looks like uh, that uh, if, if one team's going to score, it's going to be us, you know. So it's, uh, of course, the, 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 there's a big difference. Uh, if you're losing 3-0 or like last year 5-1 or whatever or 5-0 then then to come back to 3-2 and to be in a position like that you are looking to score a goal uh, so it's good but but anyway of course we are we are disappointed that we let three goals in and that that, that we lose the game against them